Hey yo, what's up, everybody? Holmes here, and welcome to my Bloodborne the All Hunters DLC boss guy video. And today we are gonna be taking on Ludwig the Accursed. And uh, before we go and do the actual fight, I do want to show you guys some attacks that it does. All right, so yeah, let's jump right into it. Here we got the ramming attack. So the way to telegraph this one is when it scratches the ground twice, but be ready to do a diagonal left dodge right there. All right, up next, uh, we got the spit move. Um, it has two spit move, but this is one of them. This is the one that moves, okay? And the way to dodge this one is you just simply run to the head on the right. The head on the right will not spit, so don't worry about it. And you can get a couple of hits off on the head on the right as well. And here it's the one that it kind of just spits forward. That one has more range. Same thing, you can just run to the side and go to the head and if you're fast enough you can even land a hit on the head on the right here we got the jumping attack this one it's kind of like it lags a little bit because it jumps and you can see that there's blood dripping so the way to dodge this one is you just simply run away just keep running until the boss drops back down don't stay in one spot all right up next here we got the biting move <laughs> it's kind of weird but yeah this move you could dodge it by doing a diagonal left dodge or if you have enough distance you could just simply run away from him so yeah that's pretty much it all right so the reason why i show you guys those clips it's because the boss didn't use those moves during this fight but i still want you guys to be aware of it with that out of the way let's jump right into the tactic for this guy here so here is it's leaping attacks the way to get some damage in for this guy it's you just gonna want to Wait until it does any kind of leaping attack except for that one because that one's kind of a bitch to dodge. But after it does a palm slam move or if it jumps straight up to the sky and it slams down, you can get some damage in. Palm slam, I could have gotten some damage in right there, but I decided to heal. And another way to get some damage in is after this four hit combo right here that it just did. You could get a couple hits in and then just, you know, back away until wait for him to do another one. Alright, jump to the sky. Alright, get a couple of hits in and then back away. Here's this tantrum move, so the way to dodge that is you just gotta dodge back twice and then roll right through its clawing move at the end. Um, here I damage his head enough, the one on the right, the one with the hair and stuff. After you damage it enough, you could get a visceral attack in. And once you drop its health down to 50%, it will trigger his second stage. Alright, so once you reach his second stage, he will get his magical sword. And if you have range from him, he will use his little shockwave move right there, so be careful. Um, the way to dodge that is you gotta roll right through it, okay? And after that, try to get close to him and just stay near that broken leg that you can see right on his crotch right there. Just stay close to it and keep attacking it and eventually we'll down him. Um, right here, once he holds up his sword like that, be careful. You want to run around him. Don't lock onto him, just run around him. Uh, Cause he slams the sword down and that shockwave, if it catches you, it will stun you to shit and will kill you. Right here when he stabs his sword to the ground, just stay away from him. Uh, Cause he will obviously do that freaking weird aura crap that's around him. Probably gonna hurt you or something. I've never gotten hit by that so I'm not sure if it does massive damage or not. Uh, pretty much during the whole fight, unless he does one of those two things, just stay near his crotch, the near broken, uh, the broken leg thing. And if you want, after you down him, you could lock onto him and you can get a visual attack on his crotch right there. So that's pretty much it. You just stay on his crotch. Uh, don't lock on during the fight though, unless you down him, then lock on. But other than that, don't lock on, stay near the broken leg and just keep attacking his crotch and eventually the boss will drop. But that's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. And if you all have enjoyed this video, then stay tuned for the next one. But until next time, I'll see you all later. Homes out!